everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And yes, I'm back again with one of my manifestation techniques. Now, today we're going to talk about three words that you can use to manifest basically anything. And guess what? It works very quickly. The only thing I'm asking for you to do is to watch this video all the way to the end because you know I love to throw in extra tips. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is My World of Metaphysics, a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives you manifesting techniques in all different ways. It doesn't matter if we're talking about affirmation, scripting, mirror work, bay leaves, cinnamon, everything is right here all on one channel. The only thing I'm asking for you to do is to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. Now, if you want to know three powerful words that you must know, keep watching. I'm back, everyone. Now, what are the three words that I want to tell you about that's going to change your life? Now, these three words will change your life if you follow the instructions that I'm about to give you. These three words should be taught to you at an early stage in school, but it is not. That's why I'm here right now to give you this information. I'm going to quickly give you these words, but I want you to stay with me because I'm going to tell you the history behind these words because if you don't know the history behind it, you're just saying something, following the root, and trying everything to make something happen, and you basically don't trust in the universe, okay? So you need to know why you're saying something. And on top of that, I'm going to tell you how to use it. So watch this video all the way to the end, everybody. So now the three words are, I am that. Okay, you guys, let me say it again. I am that. Now the history behind these words is when Moses in our biblical text went to the mountaintop and met God as a burning bush. Now, he asked God, what shall he call him? And God said, I am that I am. So then when Moses asked, when he go to free the Israelites from Egypt, who should he say has sent him? And he said to tell them, I am has sent you. Okay. Now listen, this is powerful, you guys, and you guys have to understand this. The Bible is one of our most powerful books that we have on metaphysics. If you look at it in the way that I am looking at it. Okay. I am has sent you. Okay. His name. I am that I am. Okay. So the word I am is being used multiple times in this section of the Bible. This is Exodus three that this, this is being mentioned. So you can look it up for yourself. Okay. Now Moses listened to the God that was speaking to him and actually took these words and freed the slaves. Now, let me give you a little bit more about this. You cannot say, I am, without talking about yourself. Huh, let me say this again. Please tell me anyone, when can you use the word I am and not talk about yourself? When God told Moses, I am has sent you, you cannot say I am and be speaking about someone else outside of yourself. Okay, you guys, you really have to understand this. So when we use the words, I am, you are talking about yourself. You are talking about the God that is dwelling inside of you. And whatever words follow that is what you are saying about yourself, is what you are creating about yourself. God is creative. God is all creating, okay? And when you are made in the image of God, you are also a creator. So when God stated, I am that I am, I am, you are basically saying whatever it is that follows behind these words is who you are, what you are, and what you expect. So now that I gave you a little history on these words, let's take it a little further. We are going to use these words, okay, to manifest whatever it is that we desire in our lives. And this is from the Moses Code, everyone. Now, how are we going to use this technique? We are going to use these words, I am that, and we are going to attach it to whatever it is that we want. 
So what I want you to do is I want you to write out what it is that you desire on a piece of paper, okay? And it could be a little piece of paper. It could be even a smaller piece. You can even use the scripting journals that I have out for sale on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles that you can basically use for manifestation. But I want you to write out whatever it is that you want. And listen, don't make it a book, you guys. Something quick, something simple. And we're going to use these words with it. So what I want you to do, as you have written out what it is that you want on that paper, I want you to read the words. Now, you can read these words five times, or you can read it in conjunction of what I'm telling you to do. So what I want you to do is, I want you to breathe, take a deep breath in, hold it for a second, breathe out. I want you to read what it is you wrote on that paper, and I want you to say, I am that, okay? You're reading out what it is you wrote on that paper, and then I want you to say, I am that. Now, as you breathe back in, I want you to say, I am, okay? I am that, as you are reading what it is that you want, and then I want you to say, as you breathing in, start saying, I am. So it's almost like you're breathing out and you're reading in your mind, okay? Or you can breathe out and then read what it is you want to say. And then as you take that full breath in, you can read it in your mind or read out after you've taken that full breath in, I am. Now, why is this so powerful? I am that because you're reading what it is that you wrote on the paper. As you breathe in, the God inside of you is saying, I am. So it's like, I am that. And it, that could be, I am financially free. Okay. And as you breathe back in, you're going to say, I am. So you're putting a confirmation on that is what I desire. And that is what I am. Okay. It is just that simple. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying, well, Yvette, how do you do this? I mean, how do you do this? My main thing is I don't want you to panic. I just basically want you to understand what I'm telling you to do, okay? I am that, and whatever that is, I want you to have it written down on a piece of paper, you guys. I am that, okay? I am that, financially free, wealthy, a full of abundance. I am. I am. I am. I am that. Financially free. Wealthy. Full of abundance. I am. I am that. And I want you to continue saying, I am that, with whatever it is that you desire, and letting it, breathing in, Whatever it is that you're saying, and then say, I am, I am, I am. Whatever it is follows, whatever it is that you desire, you are stating to your subconscious mind, to the God that dwells inside of you, that you are that. And it is just that simple. Okay? Now, to add a little bonus to this, I want you to either write it on a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what size of paper you're using, everyone. Okay? And again, you can use the journals that I put out there. Now, another thing. You can write it on a bay leaf, you guys. You can write whatever it is you want on a bay leaf. Hold it in your hand and basically state, I am that financially free. I am that wealthy. I am that full of abundance. I am, I am, I am. You can do these things before leaving the house in the morning. You can do it upon waking up, like I just said, or you can do it going to bed at night. And then I would put this somewhere near my bed, under my pillow, on my nightstand, and I would visualize myself having whatever it is that I desire. All of it going hand in hand with what I just stated, okay? Now, another thing you can do 
as a tip for those people that are still here, you can actually take a picture or have a picture of what it is that you desire. So let's just say you want to start your own business and you have a picture of a store that you would like to be at. You can hold that picture in your hand and you can take a deep breath in and then let it out and then say, I am that. Take a deep breath in and say, I am. Okay, these are little things that I'm telling you, especially for those people that are still watching this video. You can use pictures, paper, um, your cell phone. I don't care what it is, but make sure it is a clear representation of what it is that you desire. If you're writing it, make sure the words are clear, financial free, wealthy, best job, perfect job, soulmate, whatever it is that you want. Something quick and something that you can look at and say, I am that. I am that. Okay. And then when you breathe in, I am. So listen, everyone, I just gave you a little sample of the Moses Code. If you want more videos like this, all I want you to do is like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. If you are new to this channel, I am here live every Sunday morning right here at My World of Metaphysics. Come join us. Join like-minded people from all over the world. And again, if you want to support this channel, look in the description. You can actually look up and purchase my scripting journals. You can buy crystals, candles, sage. You can even sign up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for whatever problems you're having. Everything is in the description. And again, I am Yvette and namaste.